Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and in today's video we're going to be showing you everything you need to know about the electronic handbrake on the P3 Volvos. Now, for those of you who've been following the channel for a long time, you've probably been one of the ones telling me that I need to clean my car. So finally, as you can see, she's had a full three hour detail, wax, everything, had the works, um, even the wheels are cleaned. I know, who would have thought it? So um, yeah, I thought we'd make the most of this lovely clean car and... Um, show you guys some of the features of the electronic handbrake on these p3 volvos now this is a 2009 um s18 now excuse the mat in there it's filthy but i've been in a field and yeah stuff has happened so um of, of course talking about p3 generation volvos including v70s s80s um basically anything that's got this lovely little thing here now this is the first car i've owned well not the first car we've got um other cars here um but the first car that i've sort of really got to grips with the electronic handbrake uh, this is a bit of an odd system this one it's a mixture between automatic non-automatic it's not like some voxels where you have to literally put it on and turn it off every single time um but it is it does require a lot of Sort of thing and it's got a lot of features on it that a lot of people don't know so i'm going to go through them today so let's get straight into it so the first one is that this handbrake will always automatically disconnect um or disengage provided that the sort of circumstances for it to do so are met so if we start the engine here as you can hear the car has started now i am going to put the car in reverse but um if i want to do that and i want the handbrake to release i have to have my seat belt on if i try to do it now without it so the car is in reverse here um you'll see that i have to pull the park brake so i have to put my foot on the brake and manually release it to get it to do it now the handbrake will automatically release if i have my seat belt on um, it's a little safety feature volvo built in so i'll plug my belt in you guys will see the belt man disappear like so and now i'm not touching it handbrake is on i'm going to touch the accelerator pedal and you'll see that the handbrake is released and i can now move so um yeah simple little features there now this is useful um, for a number of reasons i mainly use it in traffic mercedes comes with a hold function and essentially this is volvo's hold function except for the fact it's not automatic if that makes sense so i'll pull up to a traffic jam um, with the car in drive um, take my foot off the brake after well obviously i'll push the hand push the handbrake in take my foot off and the car will sit there until i want to move away again and then as soon as i tap the throttle pedal the handbrake releases um so it's really really simple nice and easy to use now obviously there are occasions where we want to release it without the seat belt on and like i said before foot on the brake and release the handbrake now a lot of you probably know this already but in order to activate it just push it in and the handbrake activates just like that and that's really all you need to know about this thing it's quite a little quite a useful little tool to um, use you can get away with it on these automatics um, just leaving it in park a lot like you do in america um, but on hills such as this i would definitely recommend applying the handbrake first before you put the car in park so all the all the sort of downhill tension is on the handbrake rather than the transmission so yeah that's it guys now later cars they had it where the automatic well the handbrake came on automatically um and this is a system that i personally would prefer uh as soon as the car is put in park the handbrake automatically comes on now this happens in the 2021 330e uh the mercedes when we had it obviously not the jeep that's got a manual handbrake and the x3 um so that's quite a nice feature and i think for a lot of people who perhaps are coming out of sort of the financed car world and wants to get in something that's a bit more sort of i say financially stable but you know what i mean don't want to have the overheads and just want to own a car outright and not have to worry about paying a monthly payment etc um then 
this can can take a bit of adjusting to so uh yeah just remember guys never forget to put the handbrake on um <laughs> that's a big thing that a lot of people do um doing in that scenario so uh yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's one of those simple things in these cars that a lot of people perhaps don't understand and um yeah in this video i hope i have enlightened you all somewhat so uh thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you guys knew all about this if i'm teaching um you to suck eggs or whatever uh let me know um let me know if i've missed out any other features on the handbrake and actually let me know perhaps a system or uh, a thing on these cars that you would like to know more about that you would like explained in a video like this and i will do my absolute best to make sure that is done for you guys so um yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video cheers